Hi everyone and welcome to our channel where we talk about Microsoft Fabric and Power BI. We already touched on Dataflow's Gen 2 in one of our previous videos. I showed how to use a data flow to import data into a lake house. Now data flows are not just for importing data, but it's a very powerful tool for data cleaning and preparation. In the next few videos, I wanted to focus on data flows a bit more and show how to clean and transform data before bringing it into a lake house. In my example for this video, I'll be working with finance data and almost always finance data that is imported from a third party software and or from an Excel report comes in a format that is not suitable for a database system. Usually what you have is a wide spreadsheet format in which columns are spread from left to right and there are too many columns. Here is an example of such a format. In this Excel file, I got rows for the types of revenues uh, and expenses, right? The same way you have it in financial statements. And I also have month and version from left to right in columns. And you can have a lot more columns than this. Believe it or not, I have seen tables that were as wide as 100 columns, maybe even more. Now, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about what we call the data normalization process. When storing tables in the database and doing analytics, we prefer our tables to be long and narrow, as opposed to being wide with a lot of columns. For example, like in my Excel file. This is the concept of data normalization. Basically, we want to have more rows, and you can have millions of rows, and less columns from left to right. Normalized data is a preferred database design technique aimed at reducing redundancy and improving integrity. During the normalization process, you organize data into well-structured tables. The benefits of data normalization are the following. Number one, simplified data management. Normalized tables are easier to maintain and update because changes only need to be made in one place. This reduces the risk of errors and duplication. Then we have proper data aggregation. When your data is spread out horizontally, data aggregation and analysis become challenging and suboptimal. Calculating totals and other analysis requires formulas, which increases the risk of errors. Number three, we have improved data querying. Vertical tables are better at querying. This can improve query performance and reduce overhead. And finally, normalization supports scalability. Normalized tables are more scalable because they can accommodate changes in data structure and volume. This makes them suitable for large scale applications and databases. Now, let me go to my Microsoft Fabric workspace and show you how to create a Dataflow Gen 2 and then clean and transform data using that. All right, I'm here in my Microsoft Fabric workspace. I have a warehouse here called Demo Warehouse, which I used before. So what I'm gonna go is I'll go to Get Data and then select a Data Flow Gen 2. All right, once I'm here, I will choose Import from Excel file and indicate the folder in OneDrive where my file is located or other place where your Excel file is. And then when this window opens, I'm going to find one of the folders where I put that Excel file. And here is my Excel file. I will select it and connect to it. Click next. In the choose data section, I will select the sheet and then I will click create. And this is going to load Power Query. Now, when this is loaded, the first thing I like to do is to rename the query, call it test financial uh, data. And I will double check that all of the data from my sheet has been uploaded to the Power Query, right? So this, this is my data. I don't have a lot of rows, right? But, but I have uh, quite a few columns from left to right. Now, this isn't even a table. This isn't even what we could remotely refer to as a properly formatted table for a database storage. This is basically just scattered data on a sheet of Excel. Some of you watching this are probably laughing because you've seen these types of Excel files in this similar format way too many times coming from your finance department or operations, right? Now we will be using the power of Dataflow Gen 2 
in Fabric to transform this data and format it in a proper table format designed for database systems. And Dataflow Gen 2 gives you that the same interface as the good old Power Query, which existed in Excel and Power BI for some years. And now it is also available in the cloud as part of Microsoft Fabric. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to column number one and remove net income, total revenue, and total expenses. So net income, total expenses, and total revenue. The reason is that you can calculate these later in Power BI. Right now, we do not want to have duplicates. So I'm going to unselect these three columns and then click OK. The next thing, I'm going to go to the Transform tab, uh, search for the option called Fill, and then use Fill Down. This will fill down the values and make sure you do not have no values in your column like that. So all the nulls will accept these. Don't worry about these for now, but everything is now revenue, revenue, or expenses and expenses. As the next step, I'm going to use this function called transpose. It's going to turn the columns into rows and then rows are going to become columns. So I'll click transpose and our table will move sideways. And right away, what I can do is um, in column one now, I have a lot of the null values. So these are all the empty uh, values. I don't need this. So what I will do is I will right click and then delete this column. All right. Then what I will do is in, in column number two now, I have month and a whole bunch of null values. What I will do now, I will fill again. I'll use fill down. And then the new values are going to be replaced by month names. After replacing the new values in the month and version columns using the fill down feature, I still need to think how to get rid of the null values above in rows one and two. If I simply filtered them out, then my actual values from row one and two, uh, revenue, revenue, for example, these ones here, product A, product B, product C, they will be also deleted. And I need these values to build my table. So it's kind of a Rubik's Cube situation here. We will take a two-step process to solve it. First thing we got to do is to merge these two columns, month and version. That way, when I transpose the table back again, I will have only one row for both month and version. Let me do that. So I will select the, uh, the first two columns, right-click, and then select merge columns. Don't worry about separator or the name of the column, right? So I'm just going to choose comma for now. This will be a temporary column, which we will delete later. And I'll click OK. After I have these two columns merge into one, I will transpose my table back. So I'll go to transform and then I'll do transpose. Now we can see these values, month and version, in one row as one string. And this is important because then I can make this row the column header. So I will promote this row as the column header. And then use first row as headers. Now, after the month names and actual and budget values are the column headers in one row, we can safely unfilter the remaining null values without having to worry about losing other values. So I'm going to do that and quickly unfilter these new values. Click OK. I can already see that the first two columns are looking good, exactly how I want them to be. That's why I'm not going to change them, but instead unpivot the other columns. So I will select these two columns, right click and choose unpivot other columns. Now you can see that I'm almost there. The only remaining step is to separate the merged column. So I can have month and actual and budget in separate columns. So I'm going to use the split column feature to do that. Go to attribute, right click, choose split column, split by delimiter, and click OK. And now I have split the temporary column back into two separate columns and I have five columns uh, which I can work with. The only thing I have left is to uh, rename 
uh, the names of my columns, which is a very easy thing to do. This is going to be month. And this is going to be version, right? Budget or um, actual. Value is, is value, right? I don't have to change this one here. I'll call this, you know, product or expense category. And then this one where I have revenue or expense is going to be called transaction type. So this is, uh, this is now looking like the table that I want to see. This is the properly normalized table we have. And now what I have left is I will, I will publish this data flow to my warehouse, make sure that the, the, the destination um, is where you want this table to go, right? So you will click publish and the data flow will start. This table will now appear in your warehouse or lake house, depending on where you want to have it, right? Now I'm going to pause and wait until my data flow runs and then I'm going to see that table in my warehouse. Now I saw the notification that the data flow has been published. So then I will update my warehouse and then uh, wait for my table to appear in the table section of my warehouse. Here's my table. This has, a, you know, the proper format that I want. This is a proper database format, which is suitable for storage and analysis using, uh, using Power BI. So now what I can do, I can build a report. And here's the final report. Obviously, don't worry about the formatting. It doesn't matter. It's just a sample file, right? What I wanted to show you how using Dataflow Gen 2, you could turn a file which looks like this, a wide horizontal file with, with columns, right? Going from left to right in Excel format and turn this data into a properly formatted table right here. And this is my data, right? This is properly formatted normalized table, which can be used for analysis in Power BI. All right, that's it for today. In this video, I showed you how to use Dataflow's Gen2 in Fabric to clean and transform data using the example of a financial statement. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later in the now next video.